The president, who was represented by the vice president, Yemi Ushibanjo, stated that terrorism cannot be justified, especially the indiscriminate killing of innocent people and Isisan destruction of property. He enjoined Nigerians to utilize the reviewed national counter-terrorism strategy to enhance fervent and effective fight against terrorism in the country to foster peace and unity. The government is determined to ensure that the safety and security of every single Nigerian is a priority. This is why I have repeatedly ordered our law enforcement agents to ensure that perpetrators of violence in any shape or form are arrested and made to face the law. The activities of armed herdsmen and host farmers, kidnappers and criminal militants all threaten our peace and security and the stability of our nation. We will not allow anyone under any guise, whether it is politics, culture, or religion, to violate the physical person, life, property of other lives, or property of other citizens. This is the oath to which I swore, and I will uphold it at all costs. The National Security Advisor, Major General Babangana Mongunu, retired, who commended President Buhari's unwavering commitment to ending terrorism in the country, said his office will ensure synergy among stakeholders. We have worked assiduously with all stakeholders to rearticulate the roles of ministries, departments and agencies, and civil society. The strategy forms the basis for a concrete plan of action based on the five strengths to foster conditions conducive to the spread of terrorism by preventing people becoming terrorists or supporting terrorism. Uh, the moment uh, we have the commitment uh, and, and, and the political will to key in to the strategy, I think it will succeed because we represent the population areas of Nigeria. The president pointed out that keeping Nigeria safe is a task that must be done by all Nigerians. Patience, Osaogiwa reporting.